there a message to young people out there who are trying to get involved with um, their state government and contact the representatives? What would your message to them be? Uh, that you don't have to be 18 to be impacted by legislation, so you don't have to be 18 to impact legislation yourself. Get involved now. Because what's the alternative? Not having their voice, you know. And if we want youth to succeed and all these negative statistics to go away, you know, we got to start somewhere. And I think this this Youth Alliance is is that starting point. I, I've um, been affiliated with the Youth Alliance for a number of years and as a young person who very much wants to be involved in my state government and have the opportunity to speak with senators like you and other representatives um, around here, I, I'm just wondering why um, you are spearheading the eradication of something so wonderful to me. Well, let me tell you something. I'm not spearheading to eradicate uh, uh, boards and commissions and advisory committees just for the sake of doing it. It not only benefits you, but it benefits the, our, our legislators because they can go and they have a forum established to where they can go and say, oh, you know, we're, 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 we're writing this bill, you know, we want youth input. And boom, right there, there's Youth Alliance. That's what it is. It is all youth. It's youth voice. The problem that we have is we usually listen to uh, corporate lobbyists, we usually listen to professionals who are up here all the time, the lawyers and so on who are in the in the halls all the time, rather than to young people because they're here and they, they make themselves heard. But I have asked for um, information from the other group that just came in. You show me how this alliance is very beneficial. You show me how it's been accountable for its functions. Show me how it has made a difference in in young people's lives and in others of the you know uh, our citizens of, of of this state. And I certainly will uh, reconsider that. So I'm being open-minded. I, I really, really appreciate and that. And I appreciate your sincerity and your concern for it. Because of the Youth Alliance, I have made the right choices. I have graduated college and right now I am entering the workforce. I, I attribute much of my success to the Youth Alliance. If it weren't for them, you know, who knows where, I, how would I, I would have end up, ended up. We need to encourage young people to get involved. We don't need to wipe out one of the few things that's really been positive in getting young people's voices heard up here. So I will fight that. I don't think there's much support for doing away with it, uh, but we just have to be vigilant and make sure that it doesn't happen. Not to have the Youth Alliance around, that is wrong. You know, that's hurting your cause. That's hurting the good. Who knows the next president of the United States might be a Youth Alliance alumni.